how then, given that there's still at least existing shortages, how is the local sector responding to that high demand for electronics? And uh, uh, what are we doing here, at least from our end, to at least address that? Well, locally, uh, electronics companies, the exporters, are running at 100% clip. We just have to man manage the uh, supply, like I mentioned. However, we are beset still with high operating costs, primarily in logistics. Uh, the shipping costs are uh, you know, ex exceedingly high, uh, especially for uh, shipping costs from uh, international ports, uh, vice versa, and even the United States. So that continues to be a problem. And then the other thing would be the vaccines. Um, NCR is uh, better off than other regions in that, uh, you know, hopefully at least, well, at least 50% should be vaccinated by September, maybe more. But for the rest of, say, for example, in Region 4A, where 70% of our electronics companies are, um, it's it's much much lower, and this is primarily driven by the vaccine supply. Although, in the uh, Go Negosho Bakuna session that you featured earlier, Secretary Galvez said that we expect another 10 million, well, about 16 million doses coming in in September from about 10 million from COVAX, uh, 1.5 uh, million from, uh, excuse me, from uh, Pfizer and mm -hmm. 2 million from Sinovac in addition to the 600,000 uh, for AstraZeneca that's going to come this week. So the hesitancy among workers is low, uh, lower, but uh, as much as they want to be vaccinated, then uh, we just need to get the vaccine supplies in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you know, this is going to be a big variable because, especially with the Delta variant, where the uh, infectiousness is uh, three times uh, more than the Alpha or Beta variants, it's still a big risk. 